Hey everybody, Dave here in Freedom Investing. In today's video, we're gonna talk about taxes for uh, this tax season of 2020, but for tax year of 2019. Um, for several weeks, we've been hearing that taxes, you know, were gonna get extended, so they did get extended. Um, in addition to that, there's some other information we need to talk about as well, so let's go ahead and get started in this video. So I was in the middle of doing my taxes uh, for the last several weeks, getting ready to uh, you know get close. I mean, it's almost tax filing time, right? April 15th. So uh, I was basically for the last several weeks getting them ready. And then this new information, little pop-up thing here popped up, uh, your source for up-to-date tax information. So let's go ahead and click on that real quick. So it looks like that tax day, now July 15th, um, we kind of knew that that was gonna happen just because they've been talking about it in the news for quite a while. But um, I was doing my taxes anyway because in order for me to even file my state, I need to have my federal done anyway because it's based off of that. So when I clicked on this new update, um, I use taxact.com uh, for my taxes. I've been using it for over, I don't know, I think uh, 16 years now. So some new information popped up in here and we'll look at the state in a minute here, but you know, tax deadlines extended. Um, so everything did get extended to uh, July 15th, 2020. And if we look at uh, tax payment deadline extended, you know, there's the July 15th, 2020. I, you know, I think they were talking about a June originally, but it did get moved to July. Um, means you don't even need to make a payment or anything like that. And the best part about it is you don't even need to file an extra form or anything. Normally, if you're going to file your taxes after the date, you need to do an extension, but you don't even need to do that. And you don't even need to do paperwork. So that's kind of cool. Look at this here, state deadlines vary. So we'll look at that here in a second, but I do want to pop down to this information down here because probably people didn't really know about that. IRA, HSA, and MSA contribution deadline extended. You now have until July 15th to make contributions to an individual retirement account. Um, that's three extra months to beef up your retirement savings. Then there's a tip here. When you submit your contribution, make sure your IRA custodian knows to your American to earmark that money for 2019 and not 2020. So normally you have up until April 15th to do that. So additionally, the contribution deadline for HSAs, our Archer Medical Savings Accounts was pushed to July 15th as well. So that's some new information that I didn't know was gonna be in there. So that's kind of cool. Um, stimulus payments will be issued. The CARES Act was recently signed into law. Part of that economic relief includes the economic impact payments or otherwise known as stimulus relief checks. Eh, I'm not getting one of those. So let's go ahead and look at the state information because this is actually the information that kind of made me, you know, want to do my taxes anyway. So let's look at this here, state deadlines. So state deadlines extended and they list a bunch of states. We'll look at those states here in a second. So here's the list of states here and there is four states missing from this list. Nevada, South Dakota, Washington, and Wyoming are missing from this for some reason. So what I would suggest you do is you go to your state website um, and look at their specific information on when you have to file. Maybe they don't do extensions or maybe they haven't even pushed it back. Maybe they still expect you to do the actual um, you know, fire Texas by April 15th. So I would highly suggest you go to those websites for Nevada, South Dakota, Washington, and Wyoming. Or if you can't find it on there, you know, maybe just Google um, beer virus, you know, for Nevada, <laughs> South Dakota, Washington, or Wyoming, uh, you know, tax deadline or something like that. So um, I'm in Calif uh, I'm not in California. I'm, I got out of California. So I'm in Colorado. So let's go and look at that real quick here, just to kind of give you an idea of uh, the you know changes all these different states have. So I'm in Colorado, so let's go ahead and scroll down to Colorado here. In individual businesses, April 15th filing deadline is extended to October 15th. Okay, well, that's great. Um, April 15th payment deadline extended to July 15th. So that's interesting. So individuals and businesses, they got extended to April 15th, but you still have to make the payment by July 15th is how I'm reading that. First and second quarter estimated payments extended to July 15th. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to do any more um, 
you know, quarter, you know, estimated quarterly payments anymore. Uh, payment date, uh, Coloradoans wishing to cancel. Okay, I don't, that doesn't really matter because I didn't uh, already submit a payment. So, so that's specific to Colorado. I have until um, July 15th to make the actual payment and I have all the way until basically October 15th to file. So, so I'm going to go ahead and just file mine on April 15th anyway. I just want to get this money out of the account and get it all done with. Not going to worry about filing in July. So, uh, if you were in like say California, here's the options for California. I'm just kind of giving you a different example of what different states are doing, but partnerships and LLCs, uh, March 15th filing and payment deadline extended to July. Um, corporations, S corps filing and payment deadline extended to July 15th. Individuals, which is probably most people, April 15th filing and payment deadline extended to July 15th. Um, any other entity type uh, other than, you know, the C corps and the LLCs, partnerships and all that um, is now extended to July 15th. So basically it's flat across the board, July 15th for California. So that's just another example um, of what a different state would do. So, so that's it pretty much for this update. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and file my taxes anyway, just because like I said, I wanna get it out of the way and just done, get that money out of the account and not have it earmarked anymore, just done with it and off the books. So, um, you know, if you're in one of those other states, um, that you know has an extension or something like that you don't have to file so go ahead and just take a look um, I'll put this link of this website down in the description if you want to go to this website and look up your specific state you can do that and you know if you don't need to file until July or something like that for your state then you don't need to file anything until July so I hope everybody has a great Easter tomorrow and stay safe um, you know, make sure you're not buying up all the toilet paper. I went to two stores yesterday and could not find any toilet paper at all. So I'm pretty much SOL. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments or concerns. Go ahead and like and subscribe. We'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.